Hi, Prepper Potpourri here, sharing on my beautiful new bridge. Our old one had rotted uh, pretty extensively across the creek, so we had a new one put in. It's just beautiful. But today's video is on how to disinfect water using concentrated Clorox bleach. And I'll explain the difference between concentrated and regular bleach in just a minute. We're very lucky. One of the reasons we bought this house was because of the wonderful creek that abuts right up back behind our patio and our deck. And as you can see, we have a little waterfall there. And it goes all the way back and it meanders back and around to a bridge we have over the creek. Here's a view from our brand new bridge looking northward on the creek and we had a little platform built above so if we want to dangle our feet in the creek and we get large brown trout every spring right around Easter time and they come back to spawn they have about three different spawning areas and it's pretty neat to watch them okay imagine that our Rainwater has ran out, our stored water is gone, the well isn't working. What would we do? We would turn to the creek in our backyard. Let me get a sample here. Okay, here it is. And it is a lovely black color. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom, but unfortunately I also caught a fish in this. So I'm going to get another water sample and I'll be right back. I don't know if you can see this, but it would have been funny to have the video on because I fell with one foot into the creek while I'm taking a sample. I am such a clod. So here's our second sample, and we do not add bleach at this time. We can let it sit and get as much of the debris and sediment to the bottom, or we can strain it. And you could use your friendly bandana, a sock, a rag, a coffee filter, whatever you have available for filtering. I'm going to use a dish rag. Okay, I have another pint jar with a dish towel and a metal ring to kind of help hold the towel there. Your next thing is to pour in and try to filter off some of the sediment. You're going to have to do it pretty slow. Not fast like that. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back to you when I have it filtered easier to pour this with two hands but as you can see it's getting pretty clear finish up here and of course here's the yucky stuff at the bottom drain Okay, we'll wait until that completely drains. Just bring this up a little bit so you can, whoops. So here's the lid, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. And there's the water, which actually looks pretty darn clear. And here's the rag. As you can see, the water, the creek water is pretty dirty. Okay, now it's time for your bleach. Most of all the charts you see for water purification or disinfection using bleach is for regular bleach. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't really find that in stores anymore. Everything is the new concentrated bleach. So what's the difference? Well, the concentrated bleach is about one third less water. So 64 ounce of concentrated bleach is equal to the old 
96 ounce of regular bleach. This is a chart with the amounts taken from the Clorox website. It shows the amount of clear water to the amount of regular bleach and what you're supposed to use for concentrated bleach if you want to disinfect your water. So if you have a quart, it's the same. Two drops for regular bleach and two drops for concentrated bleach. However, at one gallon, it's eight drops for regular, only five drops for concentrated. At two gallons, it's 16 drops for regular, 12 drops for concentrated. And once you're up to five gallons, like you're putting it in a five gallon bucket, it's 40 drops for regular and only 30 drops for concentrated Clorox regular bleach. So in this case, we have pint jars. We'll just do our canning math, and that means that we would only need one drop of bleach. Now the big question is, how do you get just one drop of bleach? You certainly won't get it from pouring it from the bottle. So do you have a dropper like this in your supplies? It's a good idea. This will easily let you go in and get a drop. But let's say you don't have a dropper. What can you do? Well, on Creek Stewart's website, he has an excellent explanation of how you can get drop, or one drop, two drop, three drop, whatever, of bleach if you don't have an eyedropper. And here's what you need to do. Pour some bleach into the cap. And then you want to take a little piece of toweling and rip just a little bit out. It's going to be kind of your wick. Then you take your bleach, there you go, and you're going to put this in it, okay? And what's going to happen? It's going to absorb down the bottom, and then you will get a drop. It takes just a little while because this is very absorbent cloth. There you go, there's the drop. See that? See, 30 minutes has passed, and now you need to give it the sniff test. You need to see if you can smell the bleach. Yep, smells like bleach. If it didn't smell like bleach, you would want to do this process again and put in another drop. Then wait 30 minutes, smell it again. You need to have the chlorine odor before you drink the water. Very important. Also important to know, do not use any of the scented bleaches, the high efficiency bleach, the splashless bleach, ultimate care bleach, or the bleach pen. You only should be using Clorox regular bleach, which I find almost impossible to find anymore, or the new concentrated Clorox regular bleach. The other thing is, it's helpful not to buy your bleach in too big of containers. This is a two quart size, and if you can even get it smaller, it's not a bad idea, because bleach only lasts four to six months, and it starts diluting in strength. If you do have old bleach, that's the only thing you have, then you may want to try adding additional drops for safety. Also, if the water you want to treat is still cloudy and you can't decant or filter it, they say to add twice the amount of bleach recommended on this table. Okay, now for a quick recap. If you can't boil your water and you have bleach, you can disinfect your water by the following method. You want to remove the particles by filtering or letting the particles settle to the bottom. Then you pour off that clear water into a clean container. Add the amount of drops of Clorox per the table I posted earlier. Let it stand for 30 minutes. Come back and sniff the water. And if it has a slight bleach odor, you're okay. If not, repeat the drops of bleach and wait another 15 minutes. Um, and you can also make the water taste a little bit better by pouring it between clean containers several times. It kind of restores some oxygen to the water. Thanks for watching.
and no, I'm not going to drink it. I would preferably boil, disinfect, and use whatever else I could on the creek water. But this video is if bleach is your only choice. So, thanks for watching, and remember, subscribe and share the knowledge. Prepper Potpourri out.